observers are environmental defenders at sea. They're tasked to make sure that there's no illegal fishing happening, making sure fishing operations don't overfish. They're really the eyes on the sea to make sure that our human right to a healthy environment is respected. We've seen observers as human rights defenders as they're defined by the UN. They deserve to have heightened protection by the UN system. Observers are the most vulnerable people out on these boats. They're, they're being abused, they're being killed. Observer deaths and disappearances, not seeing the justice that they deserve. And there's just a lack of accountability for the companies involved, for the governments involved. All these different actors are not taking responsibility to protect the observers. And right now, you know, I, I think that in the U.S. it's just, it's so unbelievable that the majority of, for example, the canned tuna sold in the U.S. is by the big three national brands, Chicken of the Sea, Bumblebee, and Starkiss. The canned tuna that is known to be unsustainably caught, known to be produced systemically with forced labor, with, with severe human rights abuses, there's no consequences for them continuing to do what they do. You know, so, so it's, it's the responsibility of the retailers, the supermarkets, the, the seafood industry, the fishing industry is no different than oil and gas, than mining, than the tobacco industry, than all these other industries that have promised to self-regulate. They've proven time and again that what they are concerned most about is profit over all else. And so when we hear statements from certain major companies, seafood companies, saying that they're concerned about the planet, about the oceans, about the people that, that work on the oceans, that depend on the oceans, I don't believe it. The RFMOs and industry are very close. They are wholly unfit for the purpose of conservation. And Greenpeace, We've done our, our, our research. Most of high seas fishing does not actually benefit the coastal communities that depend on fish as a primary source of protein. Most of it is going to wealthy industrialized nations. The, the companies here that are making a profit off of overexploitation of the oceans, off of abuse of workers, off of death of observers, they need to be held accountable. And that means they need to be held legally accountable when, when these things they're responsible for aren't dealt with properly. People look to Greenpeace to put more pressure on industry. We wanted the UN to get to the bottom of what really happened in the death of this observer. They haven't taken up the case. The UN so far has been disappointing. There needs to be a Global Oceans Treaty. The future of the ocean is dependent on it.